Hello, this is a video on the truncated octahedron. This is one of 13 videos on the Archimedean solids. In this series, I will be showing how each of the Archimedean solids can be derived from the five platonic solids. Here we have the truncated octahedron. It looks like it's made up of hexagons and squares. And let's see if we can figure out how those were formed. Here I am at the Truncate, Expand, and Snubify website. Let's go down to the octahedron. The octahedron can be thought of as a square pyramid pointing up and a square pyramid pointing down. It has eight triangular faces. Okay, let's go ahead and truncate this octahedron. If I move the slider here, you'll notice that truncation cuts off the corners. And since the degree of each vertex here is four, meaning four triangles meet there and four edges meet there, the shape that is formed by cutting off the vertex is a square. To do a truncation properly, each of the original edges will be cut in thirds. This vertex will slide into the one-third point. This vertex will slide to the one-third point. In order to be an Archimedean solid, each face must be a regular figure. So this is a regular hexagon, regular hexagon, and these are going to be regular quadrilaterals, which would be squares. Now I have some questions for you. On the left we have the original octahedron and on the right we have the truncated octahedron. This triangular face is going to become this hexagonal face when these vertices are cut off. The information is given for the original octahedron. Each vertex has four edges and four faces meeting at it, giving it a degree of four. The number of sides on each face is three because it's made of triangles. There are eight faces, 12 edges, and six vertices. Now you're to fill in these blanks here. Notice that there are going to be two types of faces, type one and type two. One type that is found from the original faces, these triangular faces became hexagonal faces, and the other type is from the cutoff corners, which in this case, type two, are square. Pause the video now and answer these questions. I hope you enjoy learning many of the interesting properties of the Archimedean solids.